grab it. So we're going to make this mask by first placing in uh, the widow's peak. Well, I'd sure like to build a snowman. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are Olaf. Wait, are you actually meeting Olaf? Yeah. And you don't need a fast pass, you can just walk right on in. Woo. Do you guys want to meet Olaf? Build a snowman, so. Huh? Let's meet Olaf. Yeah. Before it's too late. Perfect. Come on in, everyone. Oh, Hi, Olaf. Can I just get one with you? <laughs> you got the picture? I got it. <laughs> Take a picture with it. Awesome. Thanks, Olaf. <laughs> Bye, Olaf. Oh, here, get your. <laughs> well, that was a fun little meet with Olaf. I was surprised to see that was even there. It's kind of awkward though. Monorail. Uh, it, uh, it's weird that they've closed the, 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 st the stage down, but you've got this little hidden, hidden meat. It's like, we, <laughs> oh, by the way, here, there's Olaf, by the way. That was strange. I'm hungry, Mike. I'm hungry too. Let's get a hot dog. All right, fresh baked. I settled for the jubilant joy dog. Does this look jubilant? I don't know. Are you feeling jubilant by looking at that? Not anymore. No. Well, compared to that, <laughs> that's not jubilant. That's a basic dog. So if anything, this one is jubilant. What do we got on here? It looks like chorizo. It's bacon. Okay, I got, I'm reading the direction or the, uh, the the ingredients here. All right, you got sweet Italian sausage. That's that. Surrounded by bell peppers. That's those, bell peppers, Let got it. Lettuce. Let, lettuce. lettuce? Who put lettuce on a hot dog? Somebody did. And cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese, I see some cheddar cheese. And then topped with honey mustard. Honey mustard, got it, there it is right there. Relish. There's probably relish in there somewhere. Uh, chopped bacon. Chopped bacon. And crispy onions. Bacon and onions? Crispy onions. So. Cool, I don't see any crispy onions. It must be mixed in like that right there. Uh, portobello mushroom, okay, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> on a hoagie roll. Hoagie roll, right on. And I got Joyful Splash the drink. Mike, if you, if you swipe that, you should tell me what is on the Joyful Splash. Uh, it's basically uh, vanilla and citrus with Sprite. And a glow cube. Vanilla, citrus, Sprite with a glow cube. That's really the winner right there is the glow cube. You could put anything in there and I would drink it and think it's awesome because it's got a glowy cube in there. I forgot that it was hot out. <laughs> it was really hot. So let's talk about that hot dog for a second. Uh, that was kind of strange. There was all kinds of weird flavors, bacon and peppers and lettuce. Lettuce? Honey mustard and cheese, melted cheese. I don't know, they put like, they, I think they just randomly... They just put stuff together. Like whatever right? fell off into the little tray. It blended well though. And then they so put it all in there. It was it was interesting, it wasn't bad. I, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I can't eat this. But it wasn't like, well you liked it though. I liked it. He liked it, Mike liked it more than I did. Uh, and then the, I got the joyful, whatever, the, the blue drink, <clears throat> which was Sprite mixed with vanilla and some kind of fruit like stuff and it was really sweet it was a sweet sweet drink especially when you know you're used to a certain way with sprite and it was really sweet up front and then the sprite you know the carbonation kicked in in the back the best part about it though was that we got uh one of these things well you can't really tell right now but maybe we'll, maybe we'll see it better inside it's one of those little glow ice cubes well, here it's getting better now come on focus Oh, look at that fresh baked. Look at how magical that is now. Woo! Well, it's not an Inside Out character, but it's Steamboat Mini. Isn't that, I didn't even, I never thought of that. Steamboat Mini. That sounds fun. So that's what we're gonna do, folks. I'm just glad it's not Olaf. What is this? This is that really cool part when uh, the lion dies and everybody's happy, right? <laughs> uh, she is my boss's girlfriend. Uh, she is the only 
a girl in the Fat Five. Daisy didn't make the cut, unfortunately. Uh, but she's best friends with Daisy. So does anyone know who I'm talking about? Just yell it out. Minnie! Minnie House. And how many fans of Minnie in the audience? I see a lot of Minnie ears over there. Very good. OK, so you're in the right class. Now, we are drawing her in a very special style today. We're drawing her like she appeared in uh, Steamboat Willie with her solid black eyes and also with her flower pot hat. OK, so very retro style Minnie Mouse. Now, you want to start this out by making a circle in the center of your paper. I would make it about the size of it. It looks like a tiny jelly bean. Uh, I'm going to place it right below my eye line. And I first just want to lightly sketch this out, make it really, really rough. And this is also a major feature that we want to keep on mini. So once you have that uh, shape sketched out, you're going to go back, choose your favorite line. Even though, of course, Minnie is a mouse, right? Uh, she's an animal. She does have a lot of human characteristics like us. So like us, she knows how to walk and talk. Uh, you know, she knows how to sing, that kind of thing. She can drive a car. She has a boyfriend. Uh, but when she smiles really big, uh, she also gets what we call a smile line. And if you don't know what that is, just look at your neighbor and give them a really big smile or grin. Yeah, just like that. So this right here, of course, that's the smile line. Love our characters like Minnie have it. And just to add some detail uh, to the inside of her mouth, to get rid of that blank space right here, we're going to add the top of the mouse tongue. And that's going to be two hills right next to each other. So from my left to the center, I'm going to add in a small hill. And then from the center to the right, add in one more. Looks like a top of a heart especially back then because it acts as the eyebrows for the mice and also for Oswald's Lucky Rabbit. So we're going to make this mask by first placing in uh, the Widow's Peak, which is going to be right here at the top. Now I'm just going to add in a letter B. There we go. And the last step is the flower pot hat. Now there's three components. There's the band, there's the top of it, and then she has like a daisy sticking out on either the right. And the last step will be the daisy. So uh, you can have it on the right or the left hand side. I'm going to place it on my right side, but I like to start off with this hook shape. Pull that up. Attached to it will be a small circle, so that's going to be the bun of the flower. And there you have it on your paper, your very own Miss Minerva Mouse, who's actually turning 87 years old this year. Yeah, November 18th. So her and Mickey are the same age, born together. All right, great. So uh, you did it. Great job. I see a lot of you are still sketching, you're shading, your mice. But I would like to see everyone's drawing. So we're going to have show and tell. OK, so on a count of three, I want you to show off Minnie. How you found her. It's time for our art show. Let's see how we did. We just finished drawing Steamboat Minnie. This here is Kitty's mini. Yours is very happy. Look how, look how big and smiley yours is. Here's Mario. Uh, Mario, there's a whole other piece of paper that you can use down here. You, were you trying to save space? Oh, okay. I'm trying to make the body too. I did the same thing, actually. See that? I didn't make my softball big enough, so I could put a whole other softball down there. That's my mini. I didn't shade anything yet. I suppose I could do the ears and stuff, right? And then Mike. He's hiding his, apparently. That's the biggest one. Good job using all of your paper, Mike. It looks good. Fresh break. Who's got the strongest steamboat mini? So, Fresh break. if you hadn't noticed when we were doing our little art show, we have uh, moved our way into the Aladdin Spectacular queue over here at the Hyperion Theater. We're just about ready to enter said theater. Get us a good spot. Well, we have arrived inside the Hyperion Theater, folks. We've got ourselves a little balcony seating. Well, not in the balcony, that's up so We're mezzanine, but this feels like a balcony right here. There's a little fresh bakery right here. What's up, guys? We're about ready to watch Aladdin. <laughs> Wait, well, I'm sorry, what was that, you guys? I'm sorry. Fresh bake! <laughs> anyway, it's almost showtime. And before we get in fresh bake, we're gonna do a little mini fresh bake roll call. Give us your name, and if you are either a riffraff Street Rat or a Diamond in the Rough? Mike, Diamond in the Rough. Kitty, Riff Raff. Mario, <laughs> Street Rat. Yeah, I, he was Street Rat all the way. I don't know why you're hesitating. <laughs> I forgot that. Thank you for coming and kicking in. And I'm Dave, and I'm definitely Diamond in the Rough. What about you, Fresh Baker? Are you guys a Riff Raff, Street Rat, or Diamond in the Rough? We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churl and check out our Secrets and History videos, or maybe our ride-throughs. Or you can just watch all of our weekly trip reports and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. It truly is the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Oh, and don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake through our Patreon campaign. Link below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Fresh Bake!